Hi everyone. Today's topic is QGIS using Python program for beginners. So in this video, you will come to know how to use Python program uh, in QGIS. So open uh, QGIS. See the QGIS canvas. Go to plugins. Then open Python console. Just to clear if any programs are existing. Now we can identify uh, QGIS canvas as well as Python console. So for better illustration, uh, I have copied the code in uh, text. Uh, see that uh, QGIS uh, by using Python program uh, by means of Python interface. So here uh, Python interface uh, can be seen by means of uh, a command called iFace. It is nothing but it is a variable program uh, for uh, in, in interacting with respect to QGIS. So basic uh, requirement is C++ or Python program. Then simply you just type uh, iFace. Now iFace is activated. We can see the all the functions or methods of iFace uh, by means of typing uh, help uh, with uh, parenthesis or uh, uh, within bracket called uh, iFace. Help within bracket iFace. We can understand all the functions and methods can be identified uh, in the Python console. And then. Uh, if it is activated to the python interface now we can add the layers by means of small uh, programming command called iface dot we need to understand all the time we need to consider iface iface dot add vector layer now we can type here iface dot add vector layer here uh, after dot we need to understand uh, letters are case sensitive then give the path give the path see that the forward slash is given then give the uh, convenient name then uh, type OZR it is the type of vector files here we can understand for the case of rastar it is gdal for the case of vector type OZR you simply uh, press enter uh, see that uh, points data which is available in the path is automatically added to the uh, QGS canvas now we can understand uh, how to open the data then go to uh, zoom 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 to some level so wherever you want you zoom to some level then uh, we can understand we can also zoom the data uh, by means of command called we can see that there are a number of uh, uh, like iface dot zoom full or iface dot uh, zoom to previous or iface dot zoom to next or iface dot zoom to full extent or zoom to layer whatever it may be so a few examples uh, we can see here simply uh, all the time we need to consider iface iface dot uh, uh, zoom small z then uh, next letter we need to give full next word with uh, uh, capital letter full uh, then uh, empty brackets see that uh, uh, zoom to the full level uh, to execute the previous command we can use uh, uh, up arrow and down arrows of the keyboard then iface dot zoom to the previous again it move then uh, zoom to next capital letter capital n or capital t next likewise we can uh, zoom whatever uh, uh, ranges we require then uh, we can see that uh, active layer whatever the layer we are able to see that uh, with the, which is in the with respect to uh, iface then we can understand iface dot active layer that can be named with respect to uh, some name called we can give layer is equal to or theme is equal to whatever you want right then uh, see that uh, active layer is considered into layer layer is equal to iface dot iface dot active layer in the layer l is capital letter layer empty brackets it means that uh, active layer is considered into the layer now we can use the layer for the case of any programs then uh, we can open the attribute table of particular layer now 
the active i mean uh, interface active layer is nothing but uh, layer we have re renamed then we can open the attribute table or we can see the layer properties so to open the attribute table of layer then we can see that typeface dot show attribute table a under tr capital letters we need to understand case sensitive letters are case sensitive then within parenthesis we need to type the layer because it is the active layer right you just simply press enter see that uh, attribute table of the points feature uh, uh, is opened now we can identify number of fields which are existing right attribute table is automatically opened by using a python interface then uh, use up arrow, uh, arrow button uh, to get the same program we can change show layer properties i face dot show layer l capital letter properties p capital letter layer properties uh, within bracket layer because that is the layer which is active then press enter we can understand layer properties uh, pop-up window is open here we can uh, modify or we can change whatever the symbology or whatever the properties we required right Likewise, uh, we can see that uh, uh, either layer properties or attribute tables of the activated layer. Uh, say for example, if you want to uh, open new project, uh, we can use a command iface dot new project. If you want to close the file and open new project, uh, we can say that iface dot new p capital letter project empty brackets then enter. So. So QGS canvas is closed and opened a new project style. Then now we can open the file, whatever the file you want. For example, here we are considering the same file. You just see that um, a layer can be added. So to get any help, uh, we can uh, type the command with, uh, with respect to help. Help parenthesis uh, within bracket to go to uh, add layer. I mean add vector layer just copy that or type help within bracket i face dot add vector layer it it gives the all the functions or methods of uh, uh, i face layer we can also see that all the properties of that layer then uh, just copy the add i face dot add vector layer within bracket you need to remember We need to give the path and name along with the OCR. Automatically file is opened, which we already done in previous case. Then again, we need to understand, we need to name the active layer. Like previous, we need to name the active layer. Uh, iface dot active layer is equal to layer. So layer is equal to iface dot active layer empty brackets now now the uh, active layer is activated with the name called layer now the functions or methods of layer can be seen by means of director dir all the variable methods or functions of uh, functions on the list of a particular layer can be seen uh, with the command called dir simply we can uh, type dir where we can see that all the functions and methods or dir within bracket layer we can what all the what all the different types of list or functions can be performed for the layer right say for example we can see that uh, feature details or attributes of all the uh, features which are existing in the form of a layer we can understand by means of a dot get features layer dot get features here whatever the f we are considering all the features are going to store in the f so for f in layer the command we need to remember for f in layer dot get feature uh, then a colon center then a double space we need to remember double space it is uh, very important print within bracket f then enter then we need to go to the run the python command you identify at the top then run the command now see that uh, all the features are uh, uh, highlighted here we are able to see the uh, number of features uh, under the under the file called layer okay
then here you need to remember again while typing the print command two spaces must be given then if you want to find out the names of the particular features which are existing in different fields different field data can also be shown in the form of simple features so like uh, so for f in uh, uh, layer dot get features is common for all we need to give the two space then print print f then we need to uh, bracket uh, you type the field names like uh, uh, place and amenity you just open attribute table see that there is an a, a field called place and another uh, amenity so here we can see that only the two fields with the names then press enter run the command now you identify the features all the features with only two mentioned fields okay next uh, we can uh, see that uh, coordinates i mean geometry geometry can be uh, can be seen by means of uh, coordinates where we can identify by means of latitude and longitude for that also we need to understand uh, all the data should be stored in f for f in layer dot get features uh, one more command to be added G -E -O -M is nothing but geometry so geometry can be stored in geom then uh, we can go for the print uh, geometry uh, if it is point data we need to give it as point or otherwise if it is polyline and polygon accordingly we need to give as point as polyline or as polygon then uh, for f for f in layer dot get uh, features next to two double space goem is equal to f dot geometry it means that geometry of the features are stored in geom then again two space uh, print print f i mean within bracket f uh, instead of f we are considering geom dot as point empty bracket again close the bracket now run the command just to see here uh, we are able to understand longitude and latitude are of uh, all the features are opened in the form of file say for example if you want to consider only x coordinate that is the longitude so uh, uh, previous like previous command here at the print command we need to add uh, like geometry as point dot x only we need to understand so for f in uh, uh, layer dot uh, get features then uh, geom is equal to f dot geometry then uh, again give two spaces so here you use the uh, keyboard key key keyboards right your uh, app arrow mark to get the previous command that can be edited so print geometry dot as point dot x then run the command now identify uh, only with uh, x coordinate called longitude then uh, we can change same uh, for f in layer dot features i mean layer dot get features then uh, geom is equal to then print y then run instead of x we change y uh, see that here uh, y is nothing but uh, latitude the whatever the uh, field information which we required we can extract the data then if you want to see that in general uh, we used to uh, get the data by means of uh, uh, latitude and longitude in general y comma x so that can be seen to get that we need to uh, type print command uh, geometry for uh, y comma geometry for x both you just to see here you just to compare the uh, code for uh, uh, with respect to previous case geometry as point dot y comma geometry as point dot x for f you start for f in a uh, layer dot get features then geometry of geometry then go to print command with the two double spaces see that uh, we need to consider geometry as point y comma geometry as point dot x simply parentheses are required while considering 
uh, y and x see that latitude and longitude of the features are extracted now we can also combine with respect to other features which we already seen like place and amenity uh, along with the uh, uh, coordinates can be uh, extracted coordinates along with the other fields other fields so for example place and uh, amenities which we got along with that we can add the coordinates same for f in layer geometry geometry then print here we need to see that another command where to get all in single row just to see that for f in layer dot get features then geometry g o m is equal to f dot geometry then print command you just copy and paste uh, see here we need to give the symbol a string and f string is related to uh, integer then f where uh, it relates to the variable numbers string and integer yes for the case of a field which you have add place then run code once you run the command we are able to extract all the information of the features by means of running a command so we can understand uh, so data can be copied into uh, text file see that all the features uh, along with the uh, name field called uh, place and amenity two field then uh, latitude and longitude the data can be copied into text file